Now, the annual UN General Assembly session attracts protesters from the world over. As world leaders meet in New York, there are a series of protests that are taking place outside the UN headquarters. Various advocacy groups from several nations have been protesting for the past four days, each raising concerns about issues that persist in their respective countries. Beyond World is One's executive editor, Palki Sharma Upadhyay, sends us this report on the annual ritual of protest that coincides with the UNGA. Diplomacy is usually a quiet, dignified, bureaucratic affair. And as diplomats and leaders from across the world meet at the United Nations General Assembly, barely 50 meters from the UN building, you have this noise, I should call it, and a lot of action. These are protesters, protesters from every corner of the world, people who have espoused certain causes, people who believe that their voice needs to be heard and uh, heard more prominently. And they're here with banners, they're here raising slogans, singing songs, uh, with, with posters, and, and they represent causes, very diverse causes. We've seen protests on climate change, we've seen protests on Balochistan. Uh, there are people who are talking about uh, the Korean Peninsula. There are people who've come from the South American countries who are uh, raising their points here. And these are the unheard voices of the United Nations. These are people who believe that this is the best platform for them uh, to be heard. Uh, where are you from and what are you protesting against? We are from Guinea. Guinea is in West Africa. We are protesting against Alpha Conde, our, our president. Why are you protesting against your president here in New York? Because uh, everybody is here. He, uh, Alpha Conde is here too. So he's been trying to... Um, to change the constitution. Where are you from and what are you protesting about? We are representing our country's Dominican Republic. We all have a little bit of everything here from different states, such as Florida, um, who have come today to protest. William Faulkner once said, don't be afraid to voice, to lift your voice to protect, to protect against injust and the lying and the greed. We're protesting because our government in the Dominican Republic is keeping the funds, our inheritance that has arrived in the Dominican Republic approximately two years ago. By constitution, by right of liberty, by right of property, we're supposed to be receiving our funds. <laughs> What are you protesting? Togo. Togo. West Africa. This country between Ghana and Benin. Okay, we protest him against the uh, stolen uh, st steal of the power in our country. Since I was born, this 35 years now, I've never known any president beside Nyasimbe. No school, no hospital, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, no work for the 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 the, the young people. The, we suffer. You must have seen a lot of security presence around here as well because uh, the security officials will want to ensure that things do not get out of hand. So security is present and there's a lot of uh, bandubast as we call it in India, uh, proper arrangements in place to ensure that these people do not cross this line. But they attract a lot of eyeballs, of course, and uh, they come prepared for that. Uh, you see the, the slogans and the banners, very provocative, some of them, and uh, very loud voices. And then you have uh, images like these, people very quietly making their point, uh, sitting here in meditation. These are people who are also raising a point here. Across the 
street. Let me walk you down here. You see such people, such pro protesters, and these many say are the unheard voices of the United Nations. Every year these people gather here to raise their voice. Some of them end up being heard. Most others are drowned in the, in the daily hum, the daily news. After this United Nations Mela ends, uh, they go back to their business, protest elsewhere. Across the st street you'll see uh, scores of protesters gathered, and they come here in the morning, camp here all day, and uh, hope that somebody will pay attention to their cause, to their grouse. This is Palki Sharma Upadhyay reporting for We On World Is One at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Barely 50 meters from the UN building, protesters from every corner of the world, people who believe that their voice needs to be heard, the unheard voices of the United Nations.